that is guarded holiness. God has freely given you His holiness. When you repent from sin and come to Christ, that moment, you're, you're holy. That is given holiness. But you need to have guarded holiness. That is to live holy every day. Hebrews chapter 12 talks about it. Without holiness, no one will see God. God disciplines us so that we will share in His holiness. So I'm talking about the second holiness, second kind of holiness today. God gives us holiness as a gift that is charis. But every day we make choices. Choices to watch porn or not to watch porn. Choices to be loving with our wives or not be loving with our wives. Choices to uh, live the Christian life in our corporate office or not live the Christian life in the corporate office. Charis holiness is given. God has already given it to you. But you need to have holiness of choice every day. Choice, holiness. When you make holy choices every day, I'm calling you for that. You're going to say, yes, I will choose as God has spoken to me in this service to be holy every day I want you to slip up your hand I want you to slip up your hand yes I will choose yes God has already made me holy but every day of my life I will choose to be holy and he will God will enable you to do that that's the message of Hebrews chapter 12 I talked about 2nd Corinth 2nd Samuel 11 and 12 2nd Samuel chapter 12 Hebrews 12 says God is a father he enables you to be holy so that you can share with him and his holiness but you need to cooperate as well raise your hands yes you raise that hand i want you to get up from your seats raise that hand get up from your seats not everybody but people will say i choose to be holy thank god for charis holiness gifted holiness but i also will choose to be holy thank god for position positional sanctification but i also want progressive sanctification in my life till my death or till the return of jesus i want you to come forward and i want you to come forward to the altar come forward and we will let's kneel in God's presence for a moment. Come, come forward, come forward. And say, Lord, I realize a holy life is a jolly life. When I say no to sin, a joy comes in my life. Hebrews 11.25 talks about it. The passing sins, pleasures are passing. But in Psalm 16.11, I read about the eternal pleasures on the right hand. When I say no to sin, a happiness that doesn't depend on happenings comes in my life. A happiness, a joy which money cannot buy, which the devil cannot take away, which the world cannot take away, which the devil cannot rob comes to me. When he said no to sin, I do not know about your personal life, you know it, where, where the battle is. But you are saying, God, enabled by your grace, enabled by your grace, I will, I will say yes. I will say yes. I will say yes. I will say yes, Lord. Yes to purity and no to phoniness. Yes to consecration and no to a sinful lifestyle. I will choose to be holy. I will choose to be holy. 